Good morning, good morning, you guys. Dexter here. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still in bed and alone. <laughs> um, anyways, it has been a uh, very productive, um, productive, productive weekend for me. And it's now a Monday, but I'm still in bed at around, it's already 10 something. But I just woke up still in bed because my work today starts at night. I'll be on a night shift tonight. So we'll be doing that to do bits of setup. And then it's going to be for one night. So we're going to be doing a setup. And then after that, the next day, I'm well technically off because I'm coming from night shift. And then I'm going back to my normal work schedule on Wednesday. But today on a Monday, I'm still at home. So... Let me show you what I usually do if I'm just at home. And then later on, um, we're going to start packing. A little bit of packing because by next week, we're going to be flying out and we're going to be on a little vacation. And of course, um, I'll be with Steph, JC, and Red. I'm sure you've already met them. Um, we are the same group when we went to Portugal. So I think, well, you have met Steph, uh, Steph and JC most of the time, but then Red is coming along with us as well, and I'll be introducing you to them. But that will be next week, and we will be in San Francisco. So I'll be bringing you along with me for that. But today, we're going to be going through, well, my daily routine when I'm at home, and not just at home, but when I'm just not doing anything, and then after that, we're going to be starting to sort out and pack things up for my San Francisco trip. Okay? Alrighty guys, so first order of business of course is a coffee and for those of you who doesn't know, I usually do an iced coffee. I know it's the morning but I usually do an iced coffee just to wake me up because hot coffee in the morning makes me feel sleepy. So I don't know why but that's how it is for me. <laughs> I've also popped on a headband because like I know yesterday I had like a haircut but I think because this side is shorter now and then this is a bit longer if I'm not if I don't have like products on my hair then this really goes down here so I really have to put a headband and then just to sweep up the sweep the hair up and then not be all over my face okay I'll do this coffee and then let's see what the day holds all right Alrighty guys, so I still have my coffee right here and I got to thinking um, because normally if I do have a little bit of time or if I have the time on my own, then I do bits of reflection and you know, like all those self-help things, which I'm very, very thankful for. Um, I am actually using this at the moment, which is actually a, it's like cards, self-help, self-help self-help cards that were actually gifted to me by Nasia. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, this has been a very, very good help. Um, I know that it should be done, I think, like on a daily basis, but because a lot of times I don't really have um, extra time because of the busyness and things like that. So whenever I get the time, I really do make this because it has been very, very helpful. So let me show you this. So this is how it is, you open that and then this is like the, the reference of like which card you're able to get and there's a bit of an explanation with it. And then here inside are actually the cards, oh my god it's not it, it's not <laughs> letting me do it. 
here inside it's so difficult to use just one hand but uh, I know I can do this so um, here inside are the cards that you can use and let me just put this aside here so you have all these different cards that you can actually use um, you just shuffle it and then pick one and then at the back of it there are things that are written and then you make a reference and for me I do have like a small um, notebook where I like write down things that um, like my takeaway from this particular card or from this particular um, information that I got I write them down because sometimes it's really too good to like um, reflect back on whatever's transpired during the day or things like that yeah so i'll go ahead and do this and then i'll see you in a bit Alrighty, guys so i did the self-care meditation for i think around 15 minutes and 15 minutes and then after that i jumped into the shower and quickly refreshed myself because i don't know like in the morning if i don't get a shower or something like that it i feel too icky and you know so I jumped into the shower and then just quickly freshened up and then now I'm actually preparing to go to the gym but this time it's not going to be batteries because my personal trainer is going to be coming here so um, there is a gym there is a gym in the building like in my building but you have to pay for it separately so I pay for it separately and then I actually hired um, a personal trainer to be with me because like on a normal gym it's going to be uh, difficult to be carrying like heavy heavy weights without someone monitoring you because it becomes it will become a dangerous one if you carry it wrong or if you have the wrong positioning and things like that so I hired um, the professional to be able to do it well and do it properly and that's gonna be what we're gonna doing so um, I'm just gonna be preparing and preparing to go to the gym and then I'll see you in a bit okay all right, so this is me ready for the gym, just waiting for my PT to come here. This is, uh, this is Nike. I, I actually got this from Sweden, if I'm not mistaken, from an outlet store in Sweden. This and this, and then the shoes as well. This is Nike, but from a different, I don't know, I got it from Sweden last time. But super cool. Very coordinated, I know, but uh, that's how it is. Let's hit the gym. Here we are at the gym. Let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty guys, so workout done. And it's uh, an hour workout. So after that workout, I decided to come down. I'm actually just one building away from a park. So I came down to the park to cool down. And then, well, that's one reason. It's, my, it's actually my cool down. Second thing is, I also um, need to get something from uh, the store. So that's two reasons to come down. Cool down, a little breath of fresh air, and then I'll uh, get something from the store, okay? So I guess I'll see you when I'm back up for us to start packing our things for San Francisco. Okie doke. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm already home and I've already had uh, bought a few stuff from the groceries, which basically is yogurt, water, and I think that's it. That's it. Like yogurt and water, which was what I needed. And then I'm already home. I'm just going to be resting a little bit. And then later on, we're going to have, well, it's uh, it's like one something in the afternoon. So I'm just going to be resting a little bit and then later on we'll prepare lunch. And then after lunch, we're going to be prepping for, we're going to start packing for San Francisco. But for now, let's uh, rest a bit and then chill, let our body relax. <laughs> and then later on we'll prepare lunch. Okie dokie. Okay guys, so this is how lunch is looking at the moment. So that is like, uh, I think you've seen this before. It's like the black rice of some sort because I do meal prep. So, and then this is blanched broccoli. And then this is um, something of, these are actually chicken breasts that I've uh, sliced up and added like sauteed with sauce. And then I have, this is 
um, a uh, it's actually a protein shake, but it's not really a shake because there's not uh, much of it. It's really just protein powder and I added creatine. And the protein powder that I use is actually the clear one. So it's basically like juice. So this is lunchy. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I think it's been a long time since I've talked to you because I don't know, I felt like it was a bit tiring for me during the last few days but uh, I just arrived home from from work and I have actually a delivery right here which I'm gonna be unboxing with you guys um, this is actually a uh, perfume that was sent by a friend to me and uh, she just well it's Stephanie and she wants me to review the perfume and check out how the perfume is it's I think she got this from TikTok or something like that so I'm gonna be unboxing this with you let me just put my bag and then we're gonna be unboxing and trying out our first impression of this perfume inside. I'm just a little bit disappointed of how it came, but it's just one, I mean, everything is complete as far as I see. So let's just unbox this, okay? Alrighty guys, so here we are ready to unbox this perfume with you. And I feel like I'm being in an office seated like this. <laughs> But anyways, let us go ahead and unbox and as I've told you, I'm just a little disappointed of how um, it came in but so far, everything is complete as far as I know because like Stephanie told me that, let me just get a scissor right here. Stephanie told me that he just, I mean she just saw this on um, a TikTok something and it's becoming so popular so we just wanted to try out and see how it is. So we have this one right here. So basically it's just one piece and they have a, I think this is a sample fragrance of some sort. So yep, and then the receipt, well I know how much it is, but this is a sample fragrance but I think it came in, oh there's still something in it because it's like, it is very Arabic. But this is, this is the sample, a tw wow, a 20 ml sample, beautiful. Um, the sample fragrance of Latafa product, Ana, Ana Ajwad. Ana Ajwad is the sample perfume, 20 ml, like for a sample, super, super good. Right, and it really does smell good and it comes in like this very, very slim packaging which is actually very convenient where you can put it on your pocket or in your pocket and then bring it everywhere else. Super, super good. I love that. And then they also have their catalog for Latafa perfumes, which is like quite a lot. Let me see. I don't really have any idea of what um, this is all about, but it says Ajayeb, Ajayeb Dubai, which is, I think, uh, a UAE, a UAE perfume brand. But let me see. I don't really know anything about this, but I think, oh. Oh, what's actually good is like, see you have, this was the sample fragrance right here. And then here it says like, um, it has the notes, like top notes of fruity notes. The heart is, the heart or the middle note is jasmine and rose and then base note of amber, vanilla, musk, and cedar, which is super, super good. But somehow it's a very, very Arabic, um, Arabic uh, smelling perfume. All right, so let's go into our main thing, which actually is this particular perfume. And I mean, this is all very new to me, so I don't really know what to expect, but let's hope that it's gonna be good. Let's open up the plastic. I mean, the packaging is super, super nice because it's white or actually like white beige and gold or something like that, which is super, super good. Like, look at that. Super beautiful. And it says Ajayeb Dubai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm butchering it, I'm very, very sorry. But that is how it is. And look at how, how beautiful the packaging is. Like this is a different kind of paper, like texturized something. And then this is actually like gold things that are embossed. Super, super good, very, very well thought of. And you have the seal of authentication or that it's an original one from them. So, super good. 
Let's open this up. It comes like this. Oh wow, oh my God. <laughs> it almost fell. I got used to perfume with caps that are magnetic. Well, evidently this is not, but oh my God. <laughs> almost had a heart attack there. <laughs> so it comes in a box like this, which is somehow a very, very well packaged box because like, look, if you have it inside, there's like protective uh, corners of the box. I don't know if you can see it, like here. These are the protective corners of the box that um, can actually protect the bottle from being like back and forth, back and forth inside it. And then this is the perfume. Now, I don't know what to expect, but let's have, I mean, the packaging is super, super good. Like it's super nice. White and gold, like gold, because I think the color, I mean, as you can see, it's actually moving because that is the, the perfume itself inside, but it still looks gold and then this gold and then white, super good. And then the branding of Latafa is just right there. And look at that detail over there. Super, super good. Anyways, time for our first spray. Let's see how this smells like. Oh wow. It smells super good. Okay, so on a first impression, it's actually a fresh, fr like on a first, first spray or a first impression, this actually smells fresh. But then when it settles down, it has a bit of that sweet, fruity, sweet, fruity floral. Like in the middle, when it, on the first spray, when that first, first top note evaporates, it has that fresh note, like a little bit minty, fresh or something like that. And then on the middle note, you have a bit of that sweet floral middle note. And I think, the base of this will be a bit more of like the vanilla, vanilla base or something like that. Anyways, let's let it dry down and we will let it settle down and dry down. And then I will do a research of what this brand is all about. So let's go to, I have my phone right here. Um, Ajayeb, Ajayeb Dubai. Let's see, let's see how it really should be smelling like. Okay. So it says here, Ajayeb Dubai Portrait. I found it. It's very, very easy to find. So. Oh wow, that is, that is good. Okay, so with this particular fragrance, so this is Ajayeb, Ajayeb Dubai Portrait, which is like uh, what is written on the box. I think I just didn't read the portrait down there. But um, this fragrance, Oh wow, this is super good. It is, like when it dries down, it really is a very, very good, very, very good scent. Mwah. <laughs> Anyways, so the top note was orange and lemon. That's why it really was smelling a bit fresh and a bit, I don't know. For me, it smelled a bit minty, but fresh. Minty, fresh, but it's like really fresh. So I guess it's really coming from the orange, uh, from the lemon. And then the heart, which is the middle note, I think is jasmine, mango, and osmanthos, which is actually, now that it's mentioned mango, I can smear, I can smell, <laughs> I can smell the mango, the sweetness. Yeah, I can smell the sweetness from the mango. Cause a while ago when I was smelling it, like when it was after the first note, after a few minutes or after a few seconds of the first note, I was already smelling the sweetness, but I couldn't determine like what kind of sweetness it is from. But I know it's like a fruity, fruity sweetness because it, it was more like a, a mango and like the sweetness of coconutty sweetness or something like that. Now that explains why, because it smells like mango. Now my scent is reaffirmed that it is actually mango that I was smelling. And then the base note, which is super good because I am or I have a very acidic body chemistry. So it's super good that the base note is actually amber, sandalwood, musk, and oud. So I love, super love, super, super love this. Well, oh my God, yes, it is. 
It's gonna be one of it's gonna be one of my favorites. Although it is in oud, it's actually super good because it is it has that strong scent that I know will be clinging onto my skin. Plus, it's also fresh, which is actually going to be good for the coming summer season. So, I think overall. Oh my god, this is like super super good, you guys. I mean. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just happy to receive this and I know like uh, I will be bringing this to my trip which I haven't packed for yet. <laughs> I'll bring this to my trip so at least we can we can see how it actually performs in different weather and different um, conditions. But for now, it's really super good. I love it and I know that I'm going to be making the most out of it and I will be exploring a few more perfumes from Ajayab Dubai or from Latafa, which is super, super good and very affordable that is because this 100 ml bottle is only 60 dirhams. So it doesn't break the bank. It smells super good. For 60 dirhams, you're all sorted out. This is one good perfume that you should, you should try. All right. Anyways, you guys, I hope that you did enjoy our video from the time that I was just really lazy going around <laughs> to our fragrance uh, our fragrance unboxing and uh, first impressions. I will leave our vlog here. I do hope you enjoyed everything today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!